Yep, there she is. Completely uninterested. And that, uh, cricket. <laughs> Might get it later though. I'm going to leave it in there. This little beauty is my female Euathlis species red. Sometimes referred to as the Chilean flame. It's only about two and a half inches, several years old, this specimen. Not exactly how sure how old. You basically keep it like a rosea. Um, and it's very, very docile. In fact, it's so docile it rarely eats. At least that's been my experience. She has been bred. A male was left in there with her about a week. And uh, I'm not sure if it took or not. Um, but she had been rarely, relatively freshly molted, so we're going to see if she'll deign to eat on camera for us. Just hold tight. i got to adjust the camera just so it tilts forward. Alright. There she is, moving around. I doubt she's going to eat, just an FYI, she doesn't usually eat on camera. And as you can see, she's not a great eater. She'd rather come out and walk on your hand than to eat something. I don't know though, maybe, maybe. Or if she just wanted to get away. That's her usual MO. Come out and crawl on the hand is what she likes to do. And it almost looks like she's in pre-molt. Yeah, have a better look at that abdomen there. Uh, maybe. Does kind of look a little dark in there. I don't think I'm going to leave this cricket in with her. She's not the slightest bit interested in him. But to show you how docile they are, and this one, she likes to walk on hands. Oh, come here, baby. Come on. There you go. You see, she's just as uh, docile as you could hope for. And a tarantula. And it's why I believe this is probably the best species for beginners. handling video here on many handling so you can see uh, she is really precious loves to walk absolutely loves it all right this guy is a juvenile G poker let's see if he'll take a cricket he's already pretty freaking big he may not be interested in it and if you can pass right under a tarantula's legs like that, and it doesn't even move, and judging the carapace to abdomen size, I'd say he's probably in pre molt. So I'm gonna take that cricket out. But he's about uh, two inches now, maybe. This handsome fellow is an unsexed Brachypelma vegans, and he'll probably eat this cricket. Yep, that cricket survived <laughs> two other tarantulas, but not this one. Um, and I'm just going to toss another one or two in there because this guy hasn't eaten much since the molt. And it loves crickets. <laughs> Look at him go. And I like a nice fat abdomen, and these are small, so yeah, three is usually all I give them. This one's got to be about minimum three and a half inches, maybe four. I'm going to put the spotlight on it, see if you can make some of these colors pop out for you. But I mean, it is so beautiful. I know it's a commonly, um, it's a common tarantula in the hobby. In fact, they some idiot released them in South Florida and they're doing quite well there. 
uh, I hear, uh, but I don't think they're in any danger of going extinct, not this particular brachypalma anyway. I just thought I'd document um, this watering can is perfect because of the long neck. It just, uh, I can even do this with the lid still on. And it doesn't disturb the spider too much because it's a quiet, steady stream. And there's my dad calling me. Alright, this is my Parafyza Scropa. To be perfectly honest, and I'm embarrassed to admit this, I really don't know much about these tarantulas. Um, this one is huge, though, in the abdomen. And I actually stopped feeding her for a little while because of the hugeness, but she still wanted food. So I'm just going to give her a small cricket and see what she does. Go on. Go on. Okay, good. Food refusal. So she's probably full on in pre molt now. I'll just take that out. This little guy is an Acanthoscuria Baracle Hursty. And here we go. I bet it eats. Because it's an Acanthoscuria. Oh, he, he wants it. <laughs> Well, he, he feels it. See how I'm react? He feels that guy walking around there. He's about to burst out of there and get him a cricket. Unless this little cricket is stupid enough to go down there, which it, it very well may. Look how pretty that is. I love... Ooh, nice! Good job, son! I think we'll just leave it at one cricket for now. I like watching these guys eat, and I'll probably be feeding the, the slings weekly just to get them to grow up a little faster, or offering them food anyway. But yeah, I knew this guy would eat. Good job, buddy. Before you ask why a big tarantula is in a small thing, this is just a holding tank for him. While I clean out his big tank, which is horrible. This guy molted out mature a while back, and as you can see, very beautiful, but the back leg hairs have faded. Well, it, well, I guess they haven't, but they may be hard to see, the purples and the reds. I mean, this is, this is truly one of the most beautiful spiders in the world, in my opinion. But being a mature male, he probably is not going to eat. However, I'm going to toss... Uh, tarantula, in, or sorry, a cricket in there, and he's definitely not going to eat on camera, um, not this one, uh, by the way, I got these little jars, they're like that big, let's see if you can see, like that big, I got them at the dollar store with these great lids, screw down lids for a dollar each, and just use the soldering iron to poke holes in them. One more shot of this guy. So pretty. Let me see if I can get him to move. Come on, Bubba. Move a little bit. Let's see your pretty face. Oh, hello. No, 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 no. Don't come out. Anyway, you can see the palps, and you really can't see the um, tibial hooks on these guys, but I assure you he's male. He's been making all sorts of sperm webs and pacing his cage. I'm supposed to have a trade in on this guy but I haven't heard back so I don't know if it's going to go through or not. This is a rosea I kind of inherited. Uh, I've got about three roseas that way people don't want them or whatever and I can't ever say no so it has not been fed yet it's still in a temp container. I'm pretty sure it's hungry though. We'll see what he does. I think he's interested in that food. I don't like keeping them in containers this small, but I don't have anything to move them into yet. This one looks like it's just before getting the really good pink stuff on its back. Yeah, it's pretty. I'm going to leave those in there for a little while. 
Uh, I'll check back later with him. If he doesn't get him, I'll take it out. Right here, we have a mature male, G. Rosea. This belongs to Penn over at, uh, or sorry, Ben over at Pangea. And as you can see, well, you can't see it now because you just moved on top of it, but it looks like he's just started building his sperm webs. He molted out a couple weeks ago. So he's about ready to breed. Oh my gosh, he's so pretty with that pink carapace. He doesn't like the flashlight either. <laughs> anyway, so let's see how he does. Um, there he is. Okay, pretty sure he's going to eat. Maybe. I'll just toss a couple in here for him. Looks like he's interested, so I put two in. There you got one of them. I'm going to feed my girls heavy and start some breeding this, this coming week. This is my first pink toe, my mature male. Come on, buddy. Move a little. Come on. Uh, he is a mature male. I don't know if he's going to eat. He's probably toward the end of lifespan. So... Alright, so you can see there's a cricket in there and he's not overly interested in it. That is so, so much the case for mature males everywhere. But I'm leaving him in there anyway. Maybe I'll get him later. Oh, what? I'd love to see him eat. This is a mature female, a Avic. Moss green... Uh, carapace and black moss green legs. Just a regular pink toe. Uh, she's pretty big. I, I don't know if she's going to eat, but I'll offer her something and see what she says.
Yep, there she is. Completely uninterested. And that, uh, cricket. <laughs> Might get it later, though. I'm going to leave it in there. This little beauty is my female Euathlis species red, sometimes referred to as the Chilean flame. It's only about two and a half inches, several years old, this specimen. Not exactly how sure how old. You basically keep it like a rosea. Um, and it's very, very docile. In fact, it's so docile it rarely eats, at least that's been my experience. She has been bred. A male was left in there with her about a week. And uh, I'm not sure if it took or not. Um, but she had been rarely, relatively freshly molded, so we're going to see if she'll deign to eat on camera for us. Just hold tight. i got to adjust the camera just so it tilts forward. Alright. There she is, moving around. I doubt she's going to eat, just an FYI, she doesn't usually eat on camera. And as you can see, she's not a great eater. She'd rather come out and walk on your hand than to eat something. I don't know though, maybe, maybe. Or she just wanted to get away. That's her usual MO. Come out and crawl on the hand is what she likes to do. And it almost looks like she's in pre-molt. Yeah, have a better look at that abdomen there. Uh, maybe. Does kind of look a little dark in there. I don't think I'm going to leave this cricket in with her. She's not the slightest bit interested in him. But to show you how docile they are, and this one, she likes to walk on hands. Oh, come here, baby. Come on. There you go. Let's see, she's just as uh, docile as you could hope for. And a tarantula. And it's why I believe this is probably the best species for beginners. video here on many handling so you can see uh, she is really precious loves to walk absolutely loves it all right this guy is a juvenile G polka let's we'll see if he'll take a cricket he's already pretty freaking big he may not be interested in it and if you can pass right under a tarantula's legs like that, and it doesn't even move, and judging the carapace to abdomen size, I'd say he's probably in pre So I'm going to take that cricket out. But he's about uh, two inches now, maybe. This handsome fellow is an unsexed Rachypelma vegans, and he'll probably eat this cricket. Yep, that cricket survived <laughs> two other tarantulas, but not this one. Um, and I'm just going to toss another one or two in there because this guy hasn't eaten much since the molt. And it loves crickets. <laughs> Look at him go. And I like a nice fat abdomen, and these are small, so yeah, three is usually all I give them. This one's got to be about minimum three and a half inches, maybe four. I'm going to put the spotlight on it, see if you can make some of these colors pop out for you. But I mean, it is so beautiful. I know it's a commonly, um, it's a common tarantula in the hobby. In fact, they some idiot released them in South Florida and they're doing quite well there. 
uh, I hear, uh, but I don't think they're in any danger of going extinct, not this particular Brachypalma anyway. Avicularia avicularia, common pink toe. Oh, I think she wants it. Usually when they turn around, it's because a good feeding response is going to happen. Maybe. Come on. Will you want it? Yeah, she wanted it. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't catch that. It was really awesome. She just spread her fangs and grabbed that sucker. I hope you can see. my sweet girl. This is uh, one of my two Slomopolis Armenia. I guess I'll have to find out whether this is male or female pretty soon. It hasn't eaten uh, for a couple weeks so we'll see what it does. Yeah, I figured it wanted that. Let's see if it wants a second one. Anything? These guys are pretty hungry beastie, so... That guy, uh, that's a smart cricket. Yeah, he wants it. <laughs> he or she. I've got to look it up. I'll do that probably later. Oh, yeah. Get you, get Get on it, son. Get you that cricket. I think this is a girl, though. I could be wrong. Okay. Alright. There's one cricket for the second song of this. Um, Cambridge Eye. I don't think it realizes there's another cricket in here, but it will. It'll come out and get that in a minute. But probably not on camera. Well, I just had a great feeding video and then realized I didn't turn the camera on. Well, this is my um, <clears throat> Bracky Palma Vagans. As you can see, very beautiful and great feeder. I, I'm really sad I lost the shot. Sorry. And sure enough, as soon as I scooted the cricket over, um, he, she, uh, snagged it. I'm pretty sure this Grammy was hungry. It's been long enough after a molt for it to be. This girl is my, um, Bracky Palma all the steps. If she wants something. Probably yes, because she's a pretty good eater. See what I can do with the cricket. Oh. I'm betting, yep. That's what I thought was going to happen. <laughs> Try and get better lighting on her. Isn't she stunning? I mean, that is full adult coloration, and she's only two and a half to three inches. So beautiful. This one here is an Acanthoscaria Brocklehursty. And let me try to find a living roach. Here we go. Crap. I keep doing that tonight. I guess there must be some wild bugs in my that need to be fed or something. You know, my free roaming spiders. You know. <laughs> well, I knew that was going to happen. By the way, I'm using the exact same 
camera John 3800 uses because I've seen it in his videos before. Um, so it's got some great sides and some downsides and uh, that whole shifting thing while you zoom is a real irritating factor but hey it does do nice video. Uh, not you know TV quality but uh, it does some really great stuff. Alright, I would love to know if this is a suspect male or female, um, P or Dallas. So if anyone knows, please let me know. Yeah, it's pretty... I've tossed two crickets in there because I'm pretty sure this one's hungry. But, uh, if you think it's male or female, please let me know. Um, this one's name is Charlotte. Thanks. She's just so mesmerizing. But she's actually, um, my second surviving pokey, so. This is a stout leg baboon. Not a clue in the world what the official name is. But it has a unique thing about it in that it prefers to stay out in the open to suspected female and it's very docile uh, very docile so far I, even though it has been very docile I've made no attempt to handle it nor do I plan to I just don't want to take the risk anyway I guess it's going to come up around the back It touches one of those back legs, it may be uh, goodbye time. Or maybe not. Hmm, maybe she's not interested. Hmm. I'll leave it in there. She'll probably get it as soon as I turn the camera off. This is my new. Afna Pelma, um, something something, the Rio Grande Gold, and I'm doing my first feeding with her. I disturbed her a little bit, so she may not eat right away. But I love my cow Cody so much, you know. She's pretty slender um, abdomen so I'm pretty sure she's going to eat at some point. I'm going to go ahead and leave this in with her. She's currently about two inches. So beautiful this girl. I don't know if she's starting to spread like maybe. No, she doesn't eat it now. She'll eat it soon. This beauty is A. Frankie. F. R. A. N. C. K. I. And it is not a tarantula, it's a megalomorph. So I'm told anyway. And I just got it, and I am a sucker for stripey butts on a tarantula. Now watch this. This guy is. Oh. Watch me uh, throw the cricket into the wrong place so that the video is completely screwed up. It's probably caught down there now. In the webbing. It has a pretty decent temperament. Which I'll show you. And there's no... Whoa! Fast, but uh... You know, not, not toward me, so... <laughs> well, yeah, toward me, but not off the web. It likes its web, so. Anyway, it'll get that later. Here's attempt two. Yeah, I thought that would succeed, and it did. Such a beautiful animal.